I'm going to uh, play. I found I found the um, uh, the book on tape, or I guess you'd say the book on CD that I was listening to when I was truck driving on uh, Highway uh, 83. And I don't know if it was in Kansas or Nebraska. All I know is that when I was listening to this, it mentioned Highway 83 and went, Hey, I'm on Highway 83. And <laughs> I was listening to it. And on Highway 83, there was a, um, a Sinclair gas station. And I looked up, and then on this, it said, uh, it mentioned Highway 83. It, it, me, it mentioned the logo of the dinosaur for that gas station, the Sinclair gas station. And I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show you, <laughs> I'm not joking here. Okay, here it goes. His conjunctivitis had come upon him outside Pocatello. It finally healed by Ogallala on the north side of the Platte River and returned on a desolate stretch of Highway 83 between Thetford and Valentine during a despised detour inside the Nebraska sand hills. Leg cramps had plagued him by basin and range and became unbearable as early as the Laramie Plains. Around the lake region of Ravina in central Nebraska, he began to suffer from myositis, or muscle inflammation, which would lead through an inevitability of biological cause and effect to kidney failure by the time he was hospitalized in Elizabeth, New Jersey, 10 miles as the crow flies from his final destination. His infrequent showering brought on skin complications beyond the painful erosions of chafing and blisters. And in Mount Etna, on the northern tip of Lake Ikaria in western Iowa, he broke out in shingles that made carrying the pack an exercise in medieval torture. He would finally ditch the pack altogether when his back pain reached a pitch at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. He was bothered by bug bites, ticks, fleas, and lice, and after the heat burned off all memory of his participation in the flood that drowned in Iowa town, he let himself fry from Mount Pleasant to the western border of the Mississippi before the sun blisters appeared and he realized it was too late. He fought, not very successfully, against heat stroke and dehydration across Illinois and most of Indiana until he voided deep orange and finally not much of anything at all. Rhabdomyolysis was on him. Medical speak for the dangerous elevations of a muscle enzyme released when the body undergoes severe trauma. Uh, me, so that by the I time he was bivouacking in the windbreaks of barley, corn, and soybean fields, in stands of bushy trees meant to protect crop yields Check from the down. unpredictable weather that Highway punished 83. the Midwestern plains, his blood was berserk with excess potassium, and he was at risk for a ventricular tachycardia that would have taken him faster than a bolt of lightning. Something with the delicacy of chisel and hammer set to splintering the bones down both his legs. A tap, tap, tap with every step, step, step. The chain gas station with the logo of a dinosaur sold him a map, That's which it. he studied out by the propane tank. That's it. Everywhere he stopped, he filled a cup with ice to soothe his... A tap, tap, I looked, tap. Now, with every now step, I looked up step, and I saw step. the logo of the Sinclair dinosaur. The chain gas station with the logo of a and dinosaur sold it. him a map, that's which he studied out by the propane tank. Every that's when it said it. And I thought, what are the odds I'd be listening to this, and then I'd be on that highway described, and I'd look up and they would say that. So I thought, man, that's a huge coincidence. Huge coincidence. But 